Um, it now gives me uh, great pleasure to ask our Thánaiste, Eamon Gilmore, to address you. Thank you, Thánaiste, and thank you for being here today. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm delighted uh, to be here today and to join with the Taoiseach and uh, Minister Francis Fitzgerald um, and uh, deputies, senators, and especially uh, all of you who uh, represent so many different uh, organisations, uh, voluntary and uh, statutory, uh, who work with uh, and for uh, our children. Um, I think probably the most important thing that uh, government has to do uh, is not something that can be measured uh, just in GDP growth or uh, bond yields or indeed any particular uh, economic measurement. Uh, I think it is the work that we do to uh, secure uh, the future uh, for our children uh, and to provide care uh, for our youngest citizens. Because if you ask any parent uh, what they want for their children, they will be very quick to tell you that they want them to be healthy, happy, uh, to grow up secure and safe, and to have the opportunity to reach their full potential. And as a country, uh, our collective ambition uh, for the nation's children uh, should be no different and no less. As we all know, uh, as a government, we've been working through um, the legacy of uh, difficult uh, economic uh, circumstances, uh, working to, to bring about uh, economic uh, recovery. Um, and this year, uh, as we emerge uh, from the recession, uh, is the year in which we decide, in, the year, in many ways, uh, that we shape uh, the character of that recovery uh, and for whom uh, it is for. Um, and it is essentially about laying uh, the foundations for a positive, progressive uh, future uh, from which our children should be uh, the biggest beneficiaries. It is therefore not by chance uh, that uh, we decided uh, to establish a dedicated uh, ministry for children, uh, why we've established a child and family agency, why we supported a referendum to strengthen children's rights in the Constitution, why even in the most difficult of times we have used what little flexibility uh, was available to us uh, to prioritise children and young families. Why, for example, uh, we choose to, uh, make, to, to provide children uh, aged five and under uh, with free GP care. Uh, why in the last budget we introduced universal school book rental scheme. Why we have built over 2,700 new classrooms, employed 2,100 additional uh, teachers. Uh, and why we've also found the money to invest in a new initiative to break the cycle of child poverty in some of our most marginalised communities. The framework document that we are launching today, uh, and I'm glad to be doing so with uh, the Taoiseach and with Minister Fitzgerald, is in part a blueprint for the future that we want for our children. This is the first time that an overarching policy framework will be in place, which brings together key policies relevant to children and young people. And crucially, it is focusing on the outcomes that we want, and indeed that we expect, uh, for children and young people, rather simply the input of any single department or agency. Because the diverse lives of children and young families do not fit easily into any single box or single set of criteria. And if we want to get a return uh, on the investment, then the services uh, that we deliver have to recognise that modern reality. I think a good example of what we mean by that is the area-based childhood uh, programme which I had the honour of launching uh, with uh, Minister Fitzgerald uh, some time ago. That area-based childhood programme, the ABC programme, is an in initiative that is jointly funded by the government and by Atlantic Philanthropies. It builds on the learning of the three existing projects in Talla, Ballymun and Darndale, which focused on using the best available evidence and for the most part existing services in those communities to improve outcomes for local uh, children. And by next January, I would hope that 10 new projects will be opening their doors to the next uh, generation of children. And I want to take the opportunity indeed of thanking Minister Fitzgerald for her unstinting support for that project. At the heart of th that initiative is the principle 
that every child, regardless of class, creed or background, has the right to realise their full potential. It's a simple principle, but it is a powerful one which, if realised, enriches us all. I think that there is no more important investment that we make than that in our children. Uh, it's an investment in our own future and in our country's uh, future. Um, as I said, our first task, obviously, is to bring about economic recovery, but our next is to make sure that that recovery serves our people to make our country genuinely the best country in which to grow up, to raise a family and to grow old. I want to conclude uh, by congratulating uh, Minister Fitzgerald and her department for their tireless work over the past three years uh, and for developing this first national policy uh, framework. I think in Minister Fitzgerald, our youngest citizens have found a passionate, uh, committed and able champion and I look forward to working with her uh, to implement this strategy in the months and years ahead. Thank you.